Hi, my name is Daniel Luria and this is Top Solid 7.8 Beta, which is up for release sometime in the beginning of next year, 2014. In this video, I'm just going to show you about the ability Mr. has added to apply automatic part numbering to imported parts, such as if you have received files from a customer or maybe you got some standard components off the net or from a supplier. So now you can import these files and uh, later apply automatic part numbering such as uh, as uh, the rest of the files in your ongoing project. So this is uh, an imported step file and you can right click any part in this project go for check for properties look for the part number and of course there is none it's an imported part so what we do is we right click the project name go down here look for apply automatic part numbering click that and as you can see action is not possible why is that because we haven't defined any part numbering for this project so to do that right click project name again we go down to part numbering and we're going to define two types of documents part and assembly we're just going to do a simple one here add some data maybe user initials add string and we add a counter starting value let's say 1000 minimum number of characters 4 and for the assembly we'll do the same thing just add some different numbers why not Four. okay so once that's done we have to check in the project before we can apply automatic part numbering so we'll do that once that's done once again right click project name apply automatic part numbering and as you can see action is possible for both assembly files and part files so we're just going to validate and top solid has applied numbers as we have specified hopefully let's see right click properties and there you go there's a new number so that's how you will be able to apply automatic part numbering in top solid 7.8 which can be quite handy in bigger projects thanks for watching